seems like I'm out here beside the speedway. Man, is that guy going fast. Whee! I wanted to show you these footprints. Look at that. Tracking in the morning. It's 7.20 or something like that. Look at these tracks. These are deer. See how they stuck their toes in? So you can see which way they're headed, right? This has got one foot right behind the other. You can see that the front foot is little and the back foot is big. I think, now, a female, the front foot is little and the back foot is big. A male, the front foot is big and the back foot is little. If you think in terms of childbirth, the hips on the female are bigger than the whereas the shoulders on the male are bigger. Let's see if we can see them on the other side. I do love doing this. It's far better than actually getting exercise. <laughs> and let's see. From here, can we tell where he went? Now, where would you go through if you were a deer? See, those lower branches are full. That's kind of crowded. This little spot right here, do you think that's where he went through? There's not room to jump over there. There's sticks in the way. This is open. Hey, look at all the little tiny pine cones that have fallen off. Wow, I didn't even know that pine cones fell from here. Look at that. I've lived here 13 years and I didn't even know that. So, I would say, look at all those broken sticks. I would say he goes through here. But he crossed over there. I guess he could have been angled over here. Let's see if we see any tracks on this side. Or landing marks. When he lands, he should make some dents somewhere. Don't you think? Well, I don't know how he'd get through there and out without wrecking everything. Or here. Jeepers, how do they do it? Through here, perhaps? But see, between the, between the top of the fence and that, there's not enough room there. He would have broken them every time. Okay, here's some tracks here. Some more there. Another one here. Now this is a perfect spot. There's no fence. Ah, look at that. See these dents? Now if you were to do this like Mary, let me see you could... Let's do this one. You move all the leaves until you get down to the soil, and then you can see the imprint in the soil. But this must be where he goes through. See, it's open all the way down. I could go through there, but even walking becomes burdensome. Stay out here on the boring old road. Let's see what else we find. See, now here's his tracks. Okay, so from here, he went down all these tracks, but then he angled over there to go and by the telephone pole. Or that place, I guess, right but right there is where he went in. So interesting. <clears throat> I hope this fascinates you as much as it fascinates me. Otherwise it must be oh, so boring to watch. Well, I had a nice night's sleep. Did you? Yes, I didn't kneel on the floor to say my prayers. I sat on the bed this morning. How about you? Did you say your prayers? He's watching over you. You have no idea of the angels that are following you around, holding things from going wrong. So anything that goes right, you need to be grateful. Even things that go wrong, you need to be grateful. Because the things that go wrong, we can grow from. See, character building. So if you have a rotten, miserable day ahead of you, if you just think of it as, um... What can I learn from this? Or just laugh. If you think of it as somebody hiding behind the curtain, throwing marbles along in your paths,
to make you trip up. Ha ha ha! I'm going to find those marbles. I'm not going to step on them. It's all tests. Life is an emergency. Not emer This is not an emergency. This is just a test. Whatever it is, this too will pass. And it came to pass. It never came to stay. Nothing is the same from one day to the next. Everything is different. The weather, unless you live in Dubai, or I imagine the weather's all the No, it's raining today. Or, um, so you have the weather is different, the humidity, the way you feel, the way your body feels, the things that are before you to do. Sometimes there's nothing that you need to do. And then you sort of are a little bit lost, like, oh, hmm, what should I do? fence is missing here. The fence is gone. But there's puddles of ice in there. And it's not so cold today, so I'm not going in there. I love exploring the woods. Look at all the garbage. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is like a congregation of the deer. One, two, three, four, five. All these are deer tracks. So now, I would think they went in there. But can we prove it? The proof is in the pudding. Okay, they came in here and they were angled this way. Headed that way. Look, you can see the you can see how the soil the the grass is mixed messed up. Little dark dots. Yep, they go through that way. And I bet if you go through that way, you might find some antlers. But there aren't going to be much left because those mice get them. Okay, now we're supposed to be having a nice brisk walk. Walk, walk, walk. Now what happens in Arabic countries where you need to be accompanied by a man at all times, if you're a sweet lady? Do you, um, do you go out for a morning walk? you know, like get up in the morning and go for a walk, or do you have to wait until it's convenient for a man to come along? There's the teepee. Hey, look, look at her. How's she doing today? The mess is showing up more. Look, it's wet inside. Those are really crooked. I gotta do something to fix all them. It never does look perfect, no matter what I do to it. It still looks like mine. Humph. I never needed this chair this year. This is going to be my... But it's going to rain for three days, or four days, so... I may have a flood here yet. And I will come and sit on the island while the flood washes across the entire meadow. I really like doing that. I liked it so much I put a sign up there last year says Pole Island. Isn't that a cool sign? I know I've showed you before. I've showed or I've shown. Show, I show, I showed, I have shown. I've shown you before. Gotta get right. Apply your intelligence to the way you speak. Use the words that describe what you want to say. Well, maybe not. You know what I was thinking? I have these two chairs here at the bridge. And they're really not looking so great. And they don't hold a person up. So what I was thinking, I could pick them up and I could rebuild them with willow. Because part of them is very good. It's just the, the legs that are not so hot. You see, this leg is, is a broken leg. He's had a rough life. But in the meantime, I suppose I should climb across this and I should stand them up so they look appropriate. Hmm, they're getting worse as time goes on. But this is a beautiful structure, you know. Look at those pretty things. This is falling off, but maybe it can be put back on. This is definitely broken. Well, this leg is not broken now. It's come apart on this side over here. Do you have a mathematical mind where you can see what's wrong with things when you look at them? It's a beautiful structure. 
too bad it's a piece of crap. So it needs to have some support. And I am just the person to support it. I support you in your efforts. These chairs, do you think about the life of these chairs? Let's talk.